In 2019, I noticed that honeybees had gotten into the UKZN printmaking studio where I was working at the time. The bees were finding their way into our building and dying there, presumably not being able to find a way back out. At first, it didn't seem like much of a problem, but this kept on happening month after month. I began reading up about bees and colony collapse disorder, the decline of bee populations. It is most likely that a number of harmful factors are all converging due to the impact of human activity on the environment. One of these factors is the various chemicals and aerosols that we release into the air. I wanted to find a way of connecting my interest in colony collapse to the materiality of the bridge itself. The work was created using a stencil method This allowed me to paint hundreds and hundreds of bees flying across the length of the bridge. Insect bodies are tough with a strong exoskeleton that protects them. The black paint would make a long-lasting image on the bridge. The wings, however, are incredibly fragile and came to represent the fragility of the bees. The bridge's sidewalls are a dark and even grey from all the dust, smoke and other particulates in the air. I wanted to use this in the creation of the work, so I scrubbed the concrete team, removing the grey patina to reveal the bright surface beneath. I chose a working method that would be temporary and ephemeral, like the lives of these small insects. Over time, the wings will vanish and the bodies will be left floating on the walls, frozen and immobile. There is heavy traffic across the bridge during rush hours and I hope that people will have the time to look, see and contemplate the little bees as their wings slowly fade away.